guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial on how I do my high pony with extensions. Um, this is the look that I wore a lot when I was in New York, actually. And by a lot, I mean twice. But if you don't wear extensions and you wanna see a pony tutorial, I filmed one last year that I will link down below so that way you guys can go watch that one too if you're interested. So today I actually do have clean hair. This I washed this morning. Normally when I do this hairstyle, my hair is not clean. It's actually extremely dirty, like a couple days old or it's already been curled for a couple days. Like I styled it two days ago and there's still a little wave in it. But my hair was really sweaty this morning from I actually worked out. So I decided to wash it. And I wanted to show you guys what it looks like doing it from scratch. And also I have my extensions here and these are are the hair shop 16 inch extensions. When I was in New York, my hair got dipped into a margarita. Kristen Dominique's margarita. Sorry about that, Kristen. So I washed them today, so you guys will see from start to finish what it looks like. But if your extensions are already curled and your hair has already got a little bit of curl in it, super easy to do and you just clip it in. You don't have to do any curling. But I wanna show you guys what it looks like to do it from scratch. Also, why I like to have uh, extensions in when I do a ponytail, because if I don't, Desi told me I look like a nine-year-old going to soccer practice when I don't have extensions in. And I wanna let you know that that was really rude. I have a curling iron. This is the Numi 35 millimeter. Ooh, is it 35 or 25? It's the largest one that they have. All you, you don't need a wand. You could use a curling iron, whatever. So I have a curling wand, which is really hot. I just put it really close to my face. And then all you need is just some hairspray, really. So I just have, this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Spray Demode. And then I use a teasing comb to smooth out my ponytail, but you can use whatever comb you desire. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just curl my actual hair the hair that I own. I'm just gonna curl it all in the same direction. If I leave my hair down, I spend more time curling it and making sure it's like the right way and it's all smoothed out. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm just trying to take like the straight limpness out of it so it doesn't look like such a noodle. But I just take pretty big chunks, like way bigger than um, if I'm leaving my hair down. But one thing that I do pay attention to is I make sure my hair is not twisted when I curl it. It makes it look like a smoother curl, kind of like when you use a curling iron, how it, the, the clamp flattens it out. I'm gonna stop talking now. All right, so I just finished curling my regular hair and now I'm gonna curl my faux hair. So I actually have this hooked onto a C-stand right now, like what I use to hold stuff when I film. Um, but a trick that Desi actually showed me for curling your extensions, that way they don't slide around or you don't have to put them in if you don't want to, is you uh, just put it in a drawer, like you close the clips in a drawer, like a dresser or whatever. Um, and you can actually curl your extensions there. But obviously I want this up high so I can show you guys. That's why I have it on a C-stand. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. Um, probably split, this is a two clip weft right here. I'm just gonna split it into two sections and curl it. And I'm gonna do that with all my clip-ins. Clip-ins. And I'm gonna do the same thing. So keep it nice and flat when I curl it. Yes. Now we're actually just gonna start the ponytail. And the first thing I like to do, because we're using extensions, is make a tiny ponytail in the back of your head. Anyway, this is one of those, you can just buy them at the drugstore, a whole bag of them. I'm not gonna lie to you, I just found this on the floor. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, and I found a bobby pin on the floor, which I'm also really excited about. You don't need a ton of hair. This is just gonna be like where you clip in your extensions. So, it's eating my corn. So just like this section of hair, let me show you the back really quick. Yes, give it to me. All right, so we're just gonna put that part in a ponytail. These are like Zoe sized ponytails. So then what we do is we actually clip in the extensions to the tiny ponytail. So I'm gonna take the four clip one. And what I like to do on the back one is actually lift up another section of hair and clip it to that so that way not all the weight is on the actual tiny ponytail. This 
struggle is so real to show you guys what the back looks like because then I cannot cannot see and then uh, you just want to keep in mind you're gonna clip everything going towards the ponytail so like back here I clipped it going up and this one I'm gonna clip it going back just don't go against the grain you know what I mean I got another two clipper right here that I just curled really quickly and I'm gonna see if I can just stick it in here. Perfect. All right, so now we are actually ready to snatch. Um, so this is where you're gonna need, well for me personally, I like to use a fatter ponytail like these ones right here. This is from like Goody or something. Yeah. So like, so, so you can see the general direction. All right, so now we're done for the most part with the smoothing. So now I'm actually just gonna put the ponytail in. So I have my ponytail here. I like to come in from the north up here and do it. <laughs> I'm like tapping my feet on the ground right now. This is the worst part. <laughs> oh, just making sure that I get Oh, yes. So then, if you want, I mean, it's already kind of a facelift right now, but if you really want the facelift, you just pull right there. You see that? Or these, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so now for the actual ponytail fluffing, I like to brush out the curls all together. Um, my natural hair mixed in with my extensions, so that way it makes kind of like one smoother wave. And now what I wanna do is just cover up the hair tie. So what I like to do is take a little chunk of just a section of hair at the bottom of the pony. So like right here. I don't know if this is, this feels like my real hair. I'm like, I don't even know what it is. And then just wrap it around the hair tie. Like that. And then just secure it with a bobby pin in the back. If you want even more of like a zhuzh, you can lift up this section of hair and then I'm gonna take this, the hair right under it, and give it a little tease. Make it like flat and then do a little comb over right here. And yes. But yeah, after that, your uh, ponytail is pretty much living its life. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Do we look alike? We do kind of look alike, huh?